Hi, this is Sandy Claire. Welcome to Origami STEAM. STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, and Math. Today, we are going to make the butterfly. And I have my assistant with me, Luca. He's all ready to fold a butterfly with me. We're going to start with a blue, a deep blue butterfly. And then we're going to fold monarch butterfly style paper. Now you're probably wondering where do you get monarch style uh, butterfly paper, right Luke? Right here. And um, this is a, a uh, calendar. Check that out. So we're going to do that after our second one. But first of all, we're going to fold John Montrose style butterfly. And if you need one book, one origami book, this is the only book you need. This is for beginners and it's called Fun with Easy Origami. I highly recommend it. So let's get started. I'm going to start with blue paper and I like to buy the uh, Astro Brights. You can buy that on Amazon.com. And I'm going to show you without using a um, paper cutter, we are going to fold a perfect square. Have a seat. Luca, sit. Yeah, okay, right here. Now I'm going to take the paper and I'm going to fold it like this. Okay, how's that? Take, use your nail and when you cut the paper by hand, always make sure you have a tent. Never try to cut it, rip it this way because it's, it's really hard to do. But this way you're almost guaranteed you take a little pinch, you'll always have a nice clean cut. Boom, look at that. See? You don't even need a paper cutter. Throw that piece out or save it for next time, but I'm gonna throw it out. First thing we need to do is fold your paper into a triangle. Okay, open it up. Do the triangle on this side. I'm using my nail. Open it up, now you flip it over and you see all the mountain folds. I think Luca is uh, bored. He doesn't want to fold today. He's sitting on the chair. But right here, after I flip it over, I'm going to go all the way to the middle. The intersection where all the points meet. Okay, how's that? Look at this. Now, once you have this, it's almost like a cootie catcher. Right, Luke? It's like a cootie catcher. And uh, you flip it over again, you open it up, flip it over, and now we're going to fold it into a little book. Here and here. You see that? And once you have the book, you open it, and it's still a little book, and you're going to make a cabinet fold down the middle. We're almost done. Fold it to the middle. You see that? Okay, I'm going to fold it here and fold it here. So you have a lot of different geometric folds in it. Okay, here's your book. I'm going to show you again. In, book, open, and now you slide it in. A cabinet door right here. Okay, look at that. Now, once you have this, you see this? You have squares and triangles, a lot of, lot of shapes. You're gonna take this one and pull it out, like right here. This is the wing of the butterfly. And you're gonna grab this one, pull it out. Turn it over, do it on the other side. See that? And like that, okay? Now once you have this, you're gonna take it and make it look like a little boat. And we're almost done here. Watch this, you're gonna roll it up and fold it in half. Do you see that? It's kinda of looking like a butterfly, but this part, how do you make this part move? You pinch it, you grab it right here and go back and forth. Look at that. Now you can use pipe cleaners, use anything you want to make the antennae. And there's your butterfly. Now let's try it on monarch butterfly paper. 
I'm going to use the calendar side and fold it in. Okay, open it up. Open it up. I've never made Monarch Butterfly, so this is a first for me. Turn it over and go all the way around. See that? Open it up. Turn it over. Now, see that center intersection? We're going to make a cabinet door. Just like we did with the last one. Okay. And this is from an old calendar. And I just cut it into a square. Now, here we go. Let's fold it in half. And open it up. And there's that crease fold. Put it in there. In there. I can't wait to see what this looks like. Now we're going to pull these out. Now if I'm going too fast, just uh, just pause the video and take a look. But the more you do it, the better you get. You can make all different sizes. You can use the leftover uh, strips that you cut off when you make your square. How's that? It almost looks like a boat. I'm going to go like this. Okay, look at that. Now fold it up. Now if you fold it this way, I'll just show you. If you fold it the wrong way, this part will show and it doesn't look very nice. So just fold it up and then fold it again and look at it. And look at that. I'm going to take this and make it into eight. And the more you make it into a triangle, this is skinny, this is fatter right here. This part opens if you notice. So that's really, really easy. There you go. A John Montreux style butterfly. Give me a comment. Share with your friends. Let me know how, you, how this worked out for you. Happy weekend. See you next time. Bye-bye.